guys, you are not gonna believe what I found in this random cave, dude. Look, it's a little box, but what's in the box? I'll show you. Look, it's a little note. Dear Naked Zombo, I know you're looking for a challenge. If you're up for the most difficult challenge of your life, you'll find what you're looking for at these coordinates. Love, Pengu. Pengu, Pengu the architect, dude. He's got another puzzle for us. I can't believe I found this in this room. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's Squarespace, of course. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Stay tuned until the end of this video to find out how to make the most beautiful website the easiest way possible. Now let's go check out this puzzle, shall we? All right, guys, so we are currently at the location that Pengu told us to go to for the puzzle, and uh, I'm not seeing anything here. Where is it at, dude? Oh, here it is. Holy shoot. Dude, look how big this thing is. It's a freaking tower. How many puzzles you got in here, Pengu? All right, so we got a sign here that says do not enter, and of course, we're gonna enter this. So you got a sign that says do not enter. We're gonna enter it, of course. And we got another sign here that says danger. Well, danger is our middle name, isn't it? All right, so let's uh, teleport ourselves into where we're supposed to be teleported. All right, guys, so we are in the puzzle tower right now, and uh, we have a sign here. Red boxes are hint boxes, and green boxes are puzzle boxes. Read the notes inside of each box for more information. All right, so let's uh, take a look at this puzzle box here. We've got a journal and a note. The note says, journals will be the primary form of information items that you will see in storage boxes. Open them by using them, and be careful not to delete any text inside. All right, let's take that. We have the journal here. All right, let's go ahead and open the journal. This is a puzzle box. It's marked with a green color. Inside of the green puzzle boxes will have vital tools or information information to allow you to progress into the next room. The code to the door is 1234. Oh, what, what a unique uh, code there. Remember to be careful while viewing the journal so you don't delete any stuff. Okay, second page. All right, nothing there. All right. All right. And what's in this hint box? We got another journal. Let's see what it says. Okay, so basically this just says that the red boxes are hint boxes that will have uh, hints for us if we can't figure out the challenge. Do not open any more than three of the hint boxes as this will displease the architect and you will lose his favor. We don't want to do that. All red boxes boxes will be hint boxes. Do not open any red boxes unless you need a hint. Opening this box does not count towards your hint limit. Inside of the green puzzle box will be a book. Inside the book will give you information on how to progress. And uh, yeah, okay, I think that's all we need. All right, so we can only open three hint boxes. All right, so we got to save those. I don't need no hints anyway, dude. All right, so the code to this door is one, two, three, four. And there we go. We have entered the next room, guys. It looks like a, a basic, simple, empty room with another door here. All right, so we got a puzzle box. Let's open it. Dude, I'm stacking journals right now. I'm not sure which one is which. Subject 1378 has shown increasing levels of aggressiveness after exposure to extreme levels of element radiation and seems to have started some type of rapid mutation process that nobody in the lab can seem to be able to explain at the current moment. Further testing may be required, perhaps with alternate species to be able to figure out why such a strange reaction occurs within the subject's genetic structure. Interesting. Subject 1378. We got to watch out for that, whatever that is. What could it be? That's the question. Okay, so what do I do? <laughs> Uh, okay, let's enter this door, I guess. Let's try one, two, three, four. Okay, that's not it. Hmm. Dude, it's just an empty room. All right, let's walk around. Maybe we'll find something. Okay, we have uh, tech lights. There's a bunch of tech lights around here. There's six of them in this room. Could that be part of it? Could that be part of the code? Uh, <laughs> I mean, that has to mean something, right? It's the only thing I can really interact with in this room. Do you guys have any idea? And somehow that has to do with a code here. Uh, I don't know. Oh, wait, subject 1378. Okay, let's try that. 1378, 1370. There we go. We're smart, dude. Honestly, I probably should have figured that out a long time ago. Okay, so the lights had nothing to do with it, I guess. All right, we're in. We're into the next room. Let's inspect the place. Okay, it looks like some kind of parkour room. We're gonna need to do some parkour here. Doesn't look like anything is on the bottom floor. All right, so let's see. Let's look at this puzzle box. What's inside? We got three reusable parachutes. All right, some meat and some medical brews. Well, uh, this is gonna be a piece of cake because you guys know I am the master of uh, agility. So this isn't going to be a challenge to me. Here we go. Ha! Ah, okay. Missed the first jump. Okay, I got to get warmed up, you know? Let's try that again. Dude, that is a long jump. Is that even possible? I literally can't make this with my <laughs> with my movement speed. Okay, I think this is actually impossible to make it with the movement speed that I have. Can I upgrade my movement speed a little bit? I don't know if that's against the rules or not, but I might have to do it. I'm just going to upgrade it just a little bit. There we go. Okay, now I should be able to make it. All right, let's try now. Ha! There we go. Let's just jump through here. Here we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Okay, this is a pretty far jump. Yeah! There we go. Just like a freaking pro. I'm a ninja. Okay, this one's a big one. Am I supposed to jump to that or that? I don't know. That one right there looks a lot further than that one over there. I'm going to have to jump from this corner to that corner right over there, the one closest to me. That's the uh, best chance I got. So here we go. Easy. 
Oh, wait, did I just go through that? I think I did. Okay, never mind. <laughs> what am I thinking, dude? All right, let's go back. This corner to that corner over there. All right, ready? Here we go. Oh, um, that's not it. Okay, this might take a few tries. All right, let's try it again. Here's the second try. Here we go. And, and, and. Oh, just barely, dude. I need another tick for my movement speed. All right, third try. Here we go. Fourth try. What is this? Like the fifth try? Oh! Yes. Next try. Here we go. Yes. Here we go. Yes. Yes. Oh. All right, guys. Here's attempt like 12. Let me get it. Let me get it. Oh. <laughs> okay. This time I have a little bit more movement speed, so I should be able to make this jump. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Yes. Dude, that took so long. All right. Let's continue on. Hopefully there's not a, a huge jump. This one looks pretty easy. Oh, oh my God. I barely missed that one. Okay. Almost there. Just about, just about there. There we go. Okay. We made it. Awesome. We are in the next room. All right. So let's see. We got another puzzle box here. What does it say? After completing this puzzle and walking through the door, press space bar to use the elevator. So not much information on uh, what this puzzle involves, but we have a scout remote along with a bunch of element dust. All right. So we got to use this scout somehow. All right. So we got it in our inventory now. Okay. So I'm guessing I have to use this scout to go through this window to discover something. Thing, all right, seems pretty reasonable. All right, so let's uh, get our scout out. There we go. All right, let's see what's in this room. If I can, can I go up? Well, what are those? Okay, wait, hold on. I think I have to like throw the ball into that window. Throw it inside there. There we go. Nice. Just where I want you. All right, let's see what's in here. Okay, so we got we got two corridors here. All right, let's go through the right. Right is right. So let's go to the right. Anything in here? I'm thinking I have to find a code to use on this uh, tech door right next to me. Oh, here. What does it say? The second digit is four. Okay, second digit is four. Remember that, guys. Okay, then let's go over here. And this one says the first digit is six. So we got eight, four, blank, blank. All right, now let's go through the left corridor. All right, here we go. Let's go through here and here. So we got eight, four, blank, blank six now eight four blank six remember it got it remembered eight four blank six eight four blank six eight four blank six the third digit is two eight four two six eight four two six all right i'm bringing the uh robot back to me just in case i need him again all right so let's enter the code you guys remember it hurry tell me i forget no i got it eight four two six okay space bar to use the elevator okay we got this all right we got another puzzle box What's in oh, the droidicas? They're looking straight at me. Uh, all right. What's in the box, baby? We got a spyglass. Just a spyglass. Interesting. All right, Pangu. And we got a door here with another code. I'm thinking, uh, do they have names? Defense unit 04B, 07C, 02A, and 8D. Okay. Okay. So we got 472, 4728, 4728, 4728, 4728. Okay. That's not it. But their names have, have to have some to do with it, right? Maybe it has to do with the letters B, C, B, C, A, B, C, A, D. All right, so let's convert that into numbers. B, C, A, D. B is the second letter in the alphabet. So B, C is three. So it's two, three, one, four, two, three, one, four. Let's try that. Two, three, one, four, two, three, one, four. Okay, that's not it. It's got to be something to do with these Droidica things. Okay, guys, I just thought of this. All right, so each robot has a letter to it, right? Okay, so let's start with A. Let's go with A and then let's use the number. Number. Okay, so A, A, and then the, the first digit would be two, all right? B over there, the next digit would be four. You guys know what I'm talking about? All right, so we got two, four, two, four, seven, two, four, seven, eight. If this doesn't work, dude, then I have no idea. Two, four, seven, eight. Here we go. Let's do it. Here we go. I know this is it. Two, four, seven, eight. Boom, baby. That's how we do it. We solve puzzles. We're smart. Next level. All right, so we got a sign here that says, don't look down and your path will be revealed. I think I know what this is. Invisible ceilings. Now, if you guys don't know, this is this isn't the first time Pangu made one of these puzzles. He made one a while back in Extinction and it was amazing. I'll link it in the description. Go check it out after this video, but make sure to watch this whole video to the end because I have a feeling we're gonna go through some crazy stuff. All right, so let's see. Don't look down, glass ceilings. Okay, let's go this way. Let's keep going. All right, guys, we gotta watch our step. We cannot fall down. I'm not even sure we can, oh, okay. We can get back if we fall. There's a ladder right there, but we're not gonna fall. We got the agility of a cat, of a tiger, of a lion. Wait, do lions have agility or just strength? I'm sure they got a, a little bit of agility, right? They're a cat. All right, so let's keep going. We ain't falling off this thing, dude. Not now. We've gone too far. Oh, wait. We're going right over there. Okay, I see where we're supposed to go. I hope it doesn't make me jump over there. Okay, we're good. And we're in. We are in, guys. Okay, and this is an elevator, right? Okay, let's press space. 
and there we go. All right, guys, it looks like we've entered a new zone. So wait, you guys hear that? Or is that just me? Do you hear that too? It can't be. No. Yes, it's a sponsor, but not just any sponsor. It's a Squarespace sponsor. I can't believe how easy Squarespace has made it to make such an eye-pleasing functional website. I remember when I tried to make a website myself and it required a bunch of coding knowledge that I just did not want to learn and uh, I eventually just quit. But now you don't have to do all that. Squarespace takes care of it all for you. They have plenty of templates for you to choose from with a bunch of customization. They even have features that allow you to see how many people are visiting your site. All the information you need to optimize your page is there. They've been doing this for more than a decade, so you know they've had the time to smooth out the entire website blog making process for you. So if you guys want to make a beautiful functioning website the easiest way possible, you can support this channel by clicking that link in the description and use code NAKEDZOMBO for 10% off your first purchase. Big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. <laughs> Don't worry, Zombo, they're only going to be gone for a few more seconds, right? <gasps> oh, thank God. You guys are back. I thought you left me. Okay, we can continue on with this puzzle. All right, we got a, a green puzzle box here. Okay, what's in it? Of course, we got another journal. All right, what does it say? It says, your code will be revealed when following the path B4, C7, G6, E5. Okay, interesting. But what path are we following? This must be the room where we find the code. And uh, can I get in here? I don't, I don't think I can get in here, dude. <laughs> dude, what am I supposed to do? Oh, we have the scout. Okay, let's use that. Here we go. Scout drone, I summon you. Okay, so with this, we'll be able to navigate around and find our code. Okay, so right off the bat here, this looks like a grid system. Okay, so there's some signs over here. This one says CBA. This one says one, two, three. And then on the corner on this side, on the opposite corner, it says eight, seven, six. And we have FGH. Okay, our first number is B4. So we got B right here. All right. And then the fourth is right here. Okay, so that would be all right, zero. Our first digit is zero, guys. Write that down. Second digit is C7. So we go over here. Okay. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, right? All right. Second digit is eight. Third digit, G6. Anybody got a G6? Here we go. All right. G and then six is right here, right? All right. Third digit is two. All right. And then E5. E is A, B, C, D, E right before F and then four. Five. All right, so three. Our fourth digit is three. Bingo, baby. So we got zero, eight, two, three. All right, so if we're as smart as we think we are, the code should be eight, zero, two, three. That's how we do it. Let's enter the next puzzle if there is one. Okay, it looks like we have a, uh, a little parkour zone here. All right, easy enough. Here we go. Hop up there, hop up there. Okay, almost didn't make that one. Okay, we got some pillars here. This is going to be a little bit more challenging. All right, here we go. Huh! Second pillar, here we go. Little baby steps, baby steps, baby jumps. There we go, nice. Okay, one more, or not one more. Okay, now one more, one more. Easy, dude, and there we go, first try. Okay, now a little jump here, a little jumpy jump there. And now we have uh, a lot of stuff going on here. This looks a little really complicated. We got some elevators here. I I'm guessing we just kind of like go through the elevators and try to go through this like little elevator maze, four dimensional maze looking thing. Okay, so this is a dead end. Uh, and this is another dead end. Okay, that gives us one last elevator to go. And that's this one over here. Okay, so let's go here. Let's try this one. I'm just going to go through random elevators until I get it. Honestly, I don't really have a, a plan of action. Nope, this is a, a dead end. Okay, let's go there, and then, uh, and then here, and then here, and then, and then, and then here. Oh, nice. Okay, I think this is it. Oh, we made it! My plan was very calculated. I knew exactly what I was doing. All right, so now uh, I guess we just go up the spiral staircase. Oh, I see a sign. What does it say? The architect is pleased with your achievement, however, has one more activity at the very top. Interesting. What do you have in store for us, Pengu? Okay, I think Pengu wants me to go up here, but you know what? I'm going to go around here because I'm a rebel. Oh, what's this? It's an admin tech generator that probably has nothing to do with anything. So I guess you're not hiding anything from us. All right, Pangu, you win this time. I don't Anything over here? Okay, no, I guess not. Okay, let's just keep going up then. All right, we're almost there. The, the tower is getting skinnier and skinnier. Okay, we got a sign. It says the architect will return soon. I have a feeling this won't be the last time we'll see Pangu's puzzles. And we got a puzzle box. What's in it? An Ascendant Riot chess piece. Just what we were looking for, right? I'll take that. And I, I guess that's the end 
end of Pengu's Puzzle. Well, there we go, guys. That is the end of Pengu's Puzzle. If you want to see more Pengu's Puzzles, then let him know in the comments below. This was actually really fun, really well thought out, and I feel like he has a lot more ideas in mind for us. So make sure to comment and like this video if you want to see more of this, these kind of videos. Big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. And that is all I have for you guys in this video. I will see you in the next one. All right, see ya. Woo!